for Josh Butler and England. West Indies, they win this one by four wickets. All right, we're starting off this Wednesday edition of the Sportsmax Zone with cricket. The West Indies carried over their great form from the ODI Arena to the T20 format as they secured a four-wicket win in the first of their five-match series against England at the Kensington Oval in Barbados on Tuesday night. The Windies who beat England 2-1 in the ODI series, which concluded on Saturday, successfully chased 172 after sending the visitors to bat first. Joss Butler's men started positively, scoring 77 without loss in the power play, led by Phil Salt, who smashed 40 from 20 deliveries. However, they were pegged back and dismissed for 171 in 19.3 overs. Well, Andre Russell, he claimed a 3 for 19, and Alzari Joseph, 3 for 54. The men in maroon then got several solid contributions in their chase. Jay Hope led with 36, Kyle Mayers got 35, Ravman Powell 31 not out and play of the match Russell 29 from just 14 deliveries as the Caribbean side reached their target with 11 deliveries to spare. Here's Russell speaking on his first outing for the Windies since November 2021. The start that I get, um, second over, picking up an important wicket, um, you know, then start to pull it back in the middle. Uh, you know, I was, I was excited to see, you know, all the guys there, you know, trying to make sure that the plan that we discussed in the huddle um, came out. And, you know, it's good to pull it back from a, from a high scoring um, game to, to 170. Um, you know, we, we know how good of a quality spinners England have and um, their, their, their bowlers. So it was good to actually uh, restrict them and, uh, you know, we could have some cushion and comfort to get the score. He also touched on his future with the team. Some mentioned that um, some mentioned once once I do what I have to do in CPL, he will definitely um, mention my name in selection. And um, you know, I had my fingers crossed because at the end of the day, I always want to play for West Indies. Um, sometimes people might think that you know it's all about playing leagues and all of that and those things, but I try to make sure that. You know, I look after my body and make sure that when this call up, you know, it is here, I'm, I'm ready. And I've been training hard and making sure that I eat properly and take care of myself. So I'm, I'm, I was ready and excited for this call up. Um, I still have a lot in the tank. Um, you know, but you know, based on discussion with, with, the, with the coach, um, I, I told him that after work up, I would, I would, um, you know, walk away from international cricket. Um, but if they need me. I will, I will come out of retirement, but that's the plan that I have. Um, there are so many young talents here all around that are similar to myself. So um, sometimes you realize you're going into, you know, 36. Um, you know, just give the youngsters the opportunity, and you know, if West Indies would still need me, um, I would, I would be willing to put in the hard yards for them. All right, West Indies all-rounder there, Andre Russell, saying he has a lot in the tank team. Um, he will consider retiring after the World Cup. However, if West Indies duty needs him, he'll be coming back out of retirement to ensure that he's there to step up. He said he's been taking care of his body, he's been eating properly, and for me, he doesn't look his age at all. He has been, you know, doing really well. He looks fine. He the numbers speak for themselves. So, for me, good job, Andrew Russell. Mm. Yeah, well, he unquestionably has been one of the most outstanding or most impactful players in T20 cricket 
and on the franchise global stage for for the past decade his issue is that he's constantly had a knee knee problem that that creates problems for him generally in his career and uh, especially in recent years he hasn't done much for the West Indies so that has been a, a concern with a lot of the fans but we know that Andre Russell is a high impact player we've seen him display that multiple times over uh, different leagues all across the world and he seems up for this T20 World Cup coming up he's 35 now he'll be 36 when the World Cup T20 tournament is played next summer in in the Caribbean and um, I think fans are hoping that the Andre Russell that we know um, as an impact big hitter and uh, as we saw last night as well also impact with the ball on occasions uh, could turn up for the West Indies in June because if Andre Russell is at his best at the World Cup for the West Indies it significantly improves Proves the chances of the team. Yeah. Yeah, completely agree with you on that one, Lance. Um, Andre Russell is a quality player, and yes, he's 35 years old, but as he pointed out in that interview, he still has so much to offer. It's the same way I feel about a Darren Bravo in the 50 over format, but we're not going to go back to that. Um, <laughs> Russell, likely, once he's able to keep up the level that he produced last night, will go through to the World Cup. And he's important to this West Indies T20 team, in my opinion, for several reasons one his ability with the bat two his ability with the ball um, three his ability in the field but four his leadership skills as well you listen to him last night and uh, pointing out that he picked up pretty early or thankfully for the West Indies early enough that pace on was being demolished yeah. consistently and yes. so pace off was the way to go and from a position of 77 without loss after six overs when the West Indies bowlers made the adjustment they were able to pull the Englishmen back significantly to bowl them out for 171 and that made a significant impact to how the game was played out and the West Indies were able to come away with the victory so it's great to see Andre Russell back hopefully as you point out Lance he can stay healthy that the knee injury that has plagued so much of his career is a thing of the past and that over the next eight nine ten months mm -hmm. he can really be a, a quality player a consistent performer for the West Indies in T20 internationals yeah and I have to agree about the leadership because the thing is players like Andre Russell command a certain type of respect they've played the game all over the world they've done really well all around the world so in a West Indies setup and I'll say it's a fairly young one with you know the introduction of different players they're still finding their footing and everything a player like Andre Russell can only have a positive impact because he can speak to the players he could draw on the experiences he had internationally and for me that's always a plus and the thing is I've had the opportunity to interview him a couple of times in person and just his mannerism because he comes across as a really calm and cool person that can get the point across without, you know, creating any disarray. Well, at least that's the, the view that I got when I spoke to him, right? So for me, all of those qualities speak to um, an asset in any dressing room. Ricardo Dolans, he spoke about a collective effort. And I think as much as we want to celebrate Andrew Russell for what he has done, you know, rejoining this setup, we really have to commend all of the players because for me, impressive with the ball. Every one of them. I looked at, you know, the match, the amount of catches and that. It just shows how alert they all were on the field because one of the things we always discuss is misfeel and ball slipping through. We didn't see that at all. So the collective effort with the with the ball, the collective effort on the field, and then the batting. Everybody chipped in well once they got the opportunity. So for me, I am so satisfied. Even if it was a loss, I'd still say complete performance. Yeah, great, great point there, Mariah, because it is a fact that although Andre Russell was the man of the match and the overall standout performer of the team, um, the Windies wouldn't have won if there weren't those other complementary efforts from, from the others who did so well. I want to make two quick points on yeah. Andre Russell before we leave that though. Uh, the point he made about his commitment to playing West Indies cricket is something that is lost on a lot of the fans. Um, and it's not the first time that I've heard uh, Andre Russell repeat his commitment and his 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 joy in playing for the West Indies and wearing the maroon. But because of uh, a lot of things that have happened in the past, the average fan 
doesn't feel that way. They, they feel that when there are franchise opportunities for Andre Russell, um, he, he very easily chooses to take these opportunities over, over West Indies duties. But I, I, I hear him say it constantly that he, he loves playing for the West Indies. He wants to play for the West Indies. I know that the injury has been an issue for a long time. And while we speak um, consistently about the knee injury that he has had, he's had a couple of serious hamstring injuries as well, which sometimes is the result of being of overcompensating for knee trouble that you have. Because if he doesn't trust his knee, his movement and how he runs and how he bowls will be reflective of the fact that he's thinking about making sure he doesn't hurt his knee and then that's where you get other injuries like muscle injuries and so on because i remember him having some pretty serious hamstring injuries as well so while we hope that his knee will remain steady um his overall confidence in his full physical fitness from head to toe um, would be critical as well because um, you know as as the kind of because he's a power player that's yeah. one of the things with Andre Russell he's a power player so physically he has to be in shape to deliver the quality performances that we know he has yeah and you know I'm gonna defend Andre Russell here Lance because I think what has happened when you have as many injury issues as Andre Russell has had, um, it, it plays on the psyche. And here's the thing as well, you have the T20 leagues. This is where he's making a lot of his money, if not yeah. most of his money. Yes. Um, so you have a player who is constantly trying to be healthy. And so when West Indies bilateral series may come up, as an individual, you have to think, is playing a bilateral series in my best interest at the moment? You, we've seen in the past where he's tried to go to the major tournaments and he's not been able to last the distance and that for me tells you that you are talking about a player who is committed, you are talking about a player who wants to play for the West Indies but does his body always allow him to play and even when he does play, yes. does his body allow him to perform at the level that he wants to yeah. perform or at the level that we all know that he's capable of and so from that standpoint I will fully defend Andre yeah. Russell. No, and you understand very well because you've been um, juggling some injuries so <laughs> Ricardo Mariah. is speaking. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. No but you're for real think about it if you had the opportunity Ricardo to play the big ones and make the big box yeah. versus playing the man. Yeah. It's a delicate balance to strike. Yeah. I also want to take up quickly Mariah's point about the complete performance from uh, the West Indies team last night because I don't think um, that should be lost on us. It was a brilliant all-round performance. Shimron Hitmeyer was brilliant brilliant in the field with the catching, two, two catches. Brandon King had a brilliant one as well. Azari Joseph had a stunner down on the long on boundary. Um, only a drop catch late on from Jason Holder yeah. was a down point in the fielding performance. And then the overall batting performance from King to Cal Mayers to the number three, Shea Hope. Um, Nicholas Puran added his bit, although he didn't go on. Rovman Powell, the captain, finishing brilliantly alongside Andre Ross um, tough for Romaria Shepard getting out first ball but you would expect a lot more from him and quickly answer Murray I watched that match last night and I thought to myself West Indies is putting together a potential World Cup winning team here I am already convinced that the Caribbean side has a potential World Cup winning batting lineup um, if they can continue to perform in the field like they did last night and as the bowling hopefully continues to improve and because the World Cup will be in the Caribbean in conditions that these players will be very much accustomed to, yeah. I think for the first time heading into a major tournament, things are looking up for Caribbean cricket and I am personally extremely optimistic about what this team can do and it doesn't matter what happens for the remainder of this series I will still believe that because I think the quality is there the players are there who can get the job done and the time is there to improve heading into that T20 World Cup right well we're gonna look forward to that second T20 international tomorrow viewers and of course we'll analyze that when we get on set for the sports max soon tomorrow on that note let's wrap up this segment take a break and come back we have football to talk about